Hi everybody, this is the daily video update for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. I'm Oscar Sinclair. Uh, today is Friday, May 8th, 2020. I want to pause at the end of the week this week. I know we've had um, fun with these daily updates, and I've spent the week putting together my annual report and my annual self-evaluation. And I'm proud of what we've been able to do as a church, especially over the last two months. But it remains the case that I'm not doing these daily video updates because I choose to. We are not recording Sunday morning worship from living rooms across the country because it is easier to do it that way. It is not. We're doing all of this in order to slow and mitigate the infection rate of the COVID-19 um, virus and pandemic. And right now, the case count is currently climbing in Lincoln rapidly. So I wanna show you the information that I check every day, published by the Lincoln Lancaster Health Department. It looks like this. And what I want to draw your attention to is this graph in the bottom right. This is the case count by week. And you can see over the last two weeks, it has increased rapidly. When we look at it, not as case counts per week, but cumulative, it looks like this. And that's an exponential curve. So. Here's where the role of a minister as a person who gets to talk in front of a microphone gets important for public health. If you're listening to this, and if you live in Lincoln, I need you to take this seriously. Don't leave your homes unless you have to, and don't leave your homes without a face covering on. If you need a mask, let us know at the church. I know we have folks who have been making them and we will find ways to get one to you. If you need financial assistance in order to be able to stay home and afford groceries, let us know. That's why we have raised money for the discretionary fund. The hard truth is that it's probably going to get harder in Lincoln before it gets better. I know the national news is that maybe we're starting to see case decreases, but that is not the case here in our city. So I need you, as people that I care about deeply, to do everything you can to be safe. Because, to put this as bluntly as I think it needs to be right now going into this weekend, I don't want to bury any of you. I don't want to preside over funerals that could have been prevented. So stay home, stay safe, and stay connected to each other. And remember that this too will pass, all things do, and even though we are home, we can still stay connected to each other through technology, through worship on Sunday morning on YouTube, through having moments in our backyard with our families or our pets. Life is not all pandemic, but we have to take this seriously. Have a good weekend, and I'll see you on Sunday.